Hi there. Welcome to another Blender tutorial dedicated to procedural materials. In this video, we'll be using shader nodes to procedurally generate a stained glass effect like the one you see on your screen. Fire up Blender and open your 3D model. Here, we have a circle for the stained glass, and we have a cube, which is an emission object behind the glass. To get things started, go to the shader viewport. Create a new material and replace the principled BSDF shader with Blender's glass shader. This shader will allow us to have a realistic glass-like object. However, if you don't see the cube behind the glass, you need to enable two settings. First, in the render settings, enable screen space reflections, as well as the refraction option. Second, in the material settings, enable screen space refractions. With these settings enabled, you should now be able to see the cube through the glass. To make the glass look as if it's made out of many pieces, we're going to create the first branch of shader nodes. To do this, Add a texture coordinate node, a mapping node, a Voronoi texture node, a math node, and a mix RGB node. Make sure the Voronoi texture is 2D and set it to calculate the distance to edge. For the math node, select less than and set it to a small value. This combination of nodes, when connected to Blender's glass shader, will draw thin lines on the edges of the Voronoi texture and make it appear as if the object is made up of many pieces of glass. Now, to make the glass look smoother than the edges between the pieces, add a mix RGB node. The math node from before will tell this mix RGB which parts are glass and which parts are the edges. Now, to give each piece of glass a different color, add a value node, a Voronoi texture node, and a color ramp node. Make sure the Voronoi texture is 2D and set it to calculate the F1 value. By attaching the value node to both of the Voronoi textures, we can now scale everything at the same time. At the moment, a glass is too smooth and perfect. To give it some imperfections, add two noise texture nodes and a mix RGB node. The two noise textures, when combined with each other, will give a nice stained look to the glass. Make sure to set the mix RGB node to value. This will affect the brightness of the colors and make the stains look darker. To add some bumpiness to the glass, add another noise texture node, two bump nodes, and a mix RGB node. This branch of nodes will have separate effects on the glass and the edges. You can zoom in to see the difference up close. Now, if you've been wondering why we have an empty space right at the middle of the shader viewport, you'll be getting your answer soon, as we're going to create a branch that enables us to use an external image to set the colors of the glass. To do this, add an image texture node, 
and a MixRGB node. Be careful to connect the outputs and inputs correctly, otherwise you'll have a hard time getting the effect you want. Feel free to pause or rewind the video to make sure you have it right. If you don't see the image you selected, it's because the glass material doesn't have enough resolution to show it. To increase the resolution, simply use the value node we added earlier and increase it to a large enough number. And there you have it.